Morning babies. Morning gorgeous. You want breakfast? Morning and welcome back to another channel. We're uh, It's going to be a day in my life. I have no idea what we're getting up to today. I know that three have got to be exercised. Well, technically two. It is Willow's day off, but I will show you what we're getting up with to with him at the moment to really get him ready for show season. He's going out uh, dressage at the end of January just for school use to get him out and about and do something. But his first proper big, big show that he's going to is the end of February. So um, although he's been hacking all winter, he's hacking fit. He's not show ring fit. He, his classes, where it's a Royal International Qualifier, the go round with everyone, you could be doing laps of trot and canter and they're knackered before they've even done their individual shows. So he needs to be show ring fit. So yeah, I'll show you what we get up to with him at the moment, um, what his riding week looks like at the moment to um, get him fit and then I think we're taking Champ and Gambler hacking this afternoon I've got to go to the feed shop um, in between that as well and donut it is donuts day off but we've got the horse box with us we're gonna chuck him on that for a little bit just to get him used to that ready so that when we get him out sometime this year he's used to the horse box but let's make a start and feed this lot a good boy. Are you a good boy? Come back. Don't I get back? You're a good baby. Back. Good boy. Oh, don't knock it over. And once they're fed, we uh, start going around, taking out waters, hay nets, filling them up and change their rugs. So he can take his rug off, Lewis. Then I make the feeds. Always make the front row is dinners for tonight. The back row is morning feeds, just so it's all ready for as soon as I get here. Swallow, donut, champ, and gambler. Gambler basically gets barely any feed because he's just so fat. He lives off fresh air. And then Willow doesn't get too much either because he's on the bigger side, but he's in work. So we need him to, he's in going to be in the most work early on in the year so he needs something to fuel him for what he does and then champ and donut they get the most just because they're growing but yes yeah, so now it's on to the mucking out so i just put a hay net in for donut he's never been on the box with a hay net and uh then the bathing string to tie him to for safety and uh this grill was put in here for Champ, it used to be open like that one, but Champ was an absolute bugger and used to rear up all the time. 
as we were driving along and we were so worried that it'll actually rear through the V. So we put that grill there and luckily it stopped it, but we've never taken it down. So it's good for, do for Donut for that to be there now as well. I always do worry that when you're traveling along and they get their head stuck through here, try and pull back and their cheekbones get stuck. It drives me insane. I'd actually prefer to change these and have them blocked off completely, but it's all money, it's all time, but we will get there. That has certainly done the job for now. So I'm just gonna grab Donut now and tie him up in here for 10 minutes whilst we um, muck out his stable. Just so we're all here, the horse box is up on the yard so we can see him. And, uh, but I don't think he's been in the horse box since we took him out showing. I think it was about October time, I think. So um, yeah, just getting used to it again. So I'm gonna go grab Donut now. Good boy. Good boy. Goes on, that's it longer than expected. Had to take the hay net out because he thought he couldn't turn around. Um, so I'm just gonna let him stand for a second, then I'm gonna add the hay net back in and shut the partition on him. Just leave him here for 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, just let him stand there and uh, get used to sadly what show life is a hell of a lot of waiting around. So, um, yeah, I'll grab his hay net now and stick that in with him. So he's got his hay neck tied up with him now so just gonna leave him for a minute and we can come and check on him see if we'll just be hanging around the box anyway but because um, the show we did take him to we basically turned up at the venue and got him straight out of the box anyway so he's got to get used to a bit of standing around so I'm just gonna muck him out now and um, then he can come off he hasn't got to be on here long That's his bed all done, so I'm just gonna get him off the lorry now and then they can all go out for the morning. You're being a good boy. Are you? 
<laughs> so, I'm just going to pull him off now and then he can be turned out of the oven. You're only doing that because I'm stood here because you weren't doing that a minute ago. Hey, are you a good little sausage? <laughs> Right, let's pull him off. Willow, because show season is coming so close now. Just trying to get him fit. He has worked four times a week um, with ridden, lunging, long raining, hacking out, everything like that. Um, and then just to get him that little bit fitter as well, twice a week, he's lunged for 20 minutes. Lunged for 20 minutes at a time in just walk, go on, oh, scratch your face, um, other side, yeah, good boy, we'll come, walk, 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 that's all I want him to do for 15, 20 minutes, it's not easy to do whilst filming, walk on, walk, that's it, that's all I want him to do is to walk for 15, about 15, 20 minutes, just um, to help get him fitter for show season. And then as the weather dries out and he can do more ridden work each session and um, he can be turned out more, then we will drop this lunging. Most big yards have like a walker where they stick him on the walker for 20 minutes before they get turned out. I don't have that luxury. So I become Willow's personal walker. But yeah, this is all we do. Go on. Walk. Good boy. Walk on. Yeah, but it's a hell of a lot easier. With both hands, so I'll put the phone down now and uh, crack on doing this. Lewis is just finishing mucking out and then we're off to the tax shop. So comment down below whether you've got any shows planned anytime soon and uh, what things you do to get your horses fit coming out of winter. So the horses are all mucked out now. I'm just uh, gonna go to the tap shop to go and get some horse food, and then go home, grab some lunch, and then we'll be back down to ride Champ and Gamble this afternoon. Oh, you want one, um... yes. That is nice. How much are they? £129 for a fleece. <laughs> I like these. That's a nice colour. The ones are not for the younger ones. They must be the older ones, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, 20% off. Let's have a look. So we've got the horse feed and I just picked up some Reduced summer clothing, so here we've just got a uh, like a gym wear top, but in a nice like mint green, so that was reduced. And they're all about eight pound each. So then we've got the Lemure watermelon, nice sleeve top, and then the Lemure papaya top as well. As I say, about £8 each, so always get my summer stuff in winter and winter stuff in summer. Always try and um, save money where we can. And they're pretty cool. Short sleeve top. So pack them away. Ready for summer. But I'm just going to grab some lunch and then we'll get the tack and go and take the horses out for a ride. So we're back at the yard now, um, a bit later than I wanted to be because 
it absolutely hammered it down with rain and um, I'm not a fair weather rider but that was torrential I couldn't do anything with it so um, yeah I'm just gonna grab champ now and we load him up and we take him out we're gonna not take gambler now today because as I say it's later just running out of time and having the two on the horse box just makes it so hard to go hacking because there's no gates to hold him on and gambler's really quite strong until you've got a bridle on him so i haven't got time to deal with him so I'm just gonna get champ ready and uh, we take him up the road so we've um, come to a different hacking route today again just five minutes up the road luckily where we live we've got so much hacking where our yard is to the right of us we've got town and in front and to the left of us is so much countryside that I can go on a different hacking route every single day, probably for a month, and not go over where we've been before. But um, the cross country course that I usually do is just so boggy, where all the riders take the same route, it's extremely boggy. So I've just come round the corner from there, there's Bridal Way that I'm hoping fingers crossed, won't be as buggy as a cross country course. So just gonna tack him up and then we'll get going. Go left and fall in the ditch. You wouldn't go in the puddle. Yeah, we should have The champ certainly on one of his worst days. He's never been around this bit to be fair, and he's not a lover of the road work. But all I was trying to do back there was 
to the left of the path was a ditch that's got a, right, a really big puddle. So, um, what have you spotted now? Go on, walk on. Um, I was just trying to get him onto the road so that he didn't spook and fall into the ditch. And then he didn't want to go down the curb into the path. Oh, he just, he just fell down one of these ruts. Um, yeah, so I was trying to get him over the curb to get him into the road and um, make him walk that way. And he wasn't having none of it. And this is Champ Singh, if he's confused on what you're asking, he will go up, he will rear. That is his go-to thing. And he just panics and dances on the spot. So it's just a youngster in him. And sadly, when he was broken to ride, COVID was around. So we couldn't get him out, couldn't do anything really. The cross-country course, shut down and um, we couldn't do much at all and Steve was a key worker so worked a hell of a lot more and I was working with horses back then so I was working a lot through Covid so Champ, although seven this year, has not seen a lot of life so um, yeah, we're just taking for a quick stroll as I say again he's never been here countryside everywhere where we live absolutely amazing it is and um, brilliant for the horses so yeah i'm just going to take him for a quick ride and uh that'll be him done for the day So I'm going to end this video here because the uh, dark is coming in and at the yard it's going to be pitch black. All I'm going to do now is just rug them all up for the night and feed them. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you.